bloody hell, just when I thought I could relax and sit back and enjoy the evening, my TV had to break down. Okay, not a TV, but a monitor, but you get the picture. It seems like all I'm doing is flat screen TVs lately. I'd really like to do something else, but here we have another one. And remember, I don't fix TVs. Let's check this one out. So this is an old ViewSonic. This has been here for at least 10 years. I got it probably about 10 years ago and I had to replace a couple parts that had failed and it was given to me, it was dead. This has never turned off, it's running 24 seven and now it started to do this. So uh, let's uh, see what's wrong with it. This is a 2006 ViewSonic. Uh, I guess it's about a 19 inch. I don't know what it is here. It's an N2011 from 2006. This was given to me probably around 2010, I guess. And it's been in service ever since. It's a monitor I use to monitor my security cameras. And this one has never turned off. It's left running 24 seven. It's been going for at least 12 years in its current location and it's finally packed it in. So we saw the symptom. It's gonna be obviously filter capacitors have gone bad. So let's pop it apart and see what damage has been done. Pop the screws out of the back. I don't remember whether I serviced this before. It probably was serviced once before. I'm sure probably it was. Uh, I'm sure that's why it was given to me because it wasn't working and I fixed it and, and replaced the uh, the CRT set which is the one that sits up in the corner of the shop. That used to sit where this set was and it sat there from I guess 2006 when I bought it until I put this one in and I think this one was around 2010 somewhere around there was when this one went into service some clips and the back cover should lift right off of this one I think could be wrong I might have to take this I might have to take this piece off I think I gotta take this piece off and there's another couple screws under here yes there are a couple of other screws here. I gotta take the base off too. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. The stand might not have to come off. But certainly these two screws gotta come out. There we go. Cool. Okay. Bad. Bad right there. probably all that's wrong with it too is that one cap for sure I bet you that's all that's wrong with it is that one there that's kind of bulging a bit bulging at the seams let's uh, change it out this one's got three fluorescent lights on this one see three separate connectors two transformers But they last forever. They they never they never break down. Not this not these ones anyway. And probably one of the reasons it's lasted as long as it's lasted is because I never I never turn it off. I have another one in my office, an old sharp um, computer monitor, VGA. My first L, uh, my first LCD monitor. So it would go back to probably the same era as this, and I've been using it as a uh, dedicated camera monitor and I never turn it off either and it it has last time I checked it had like 60 I think 65,000 hours on the panel or, or if not more anyway the um, the fluorescent lights they really do last a long 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 time if you don't turn them on and off that was the, that's the biggest killer for the uh, the fluorescence is turning them on and off. Actually, it's starting them, but you have to turn them off before you can start them again, right? For those doing the math, that monitor has been running about seven and a half years, which is about There's right the board. because I used it as a computer monitor before. We'll change out just the one. That's all it's going to need is that one. I think I serviced this about 10 years ago and I replaced these two. These are Rubicon, and this is the Elite 
original. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's been changed, but these other ones look like they were changed. So, we will remove it. Fifteen hundred at ten volts. Shouldn't have a problem finding something like that. I have a twenty-two hundred at sixteen volt. That'll be just fine for this. Pop that back in the board. Yeah, it's a used one. I don't care. I probably do have a new one, but you know what? Uh, it doesn't matter if I have to change it again in a year or two. It's not really a big deal. It only takes a couple minutes. We'll check the ESR on this before I do it. But I'm sure it's fine. Because it came off of a working board. .06. Yeah, we're okay. We're fine. Welded in place. There we go. That is Rubicon now. Should be good for a while. If you guys wonder what this big nail is or screw sticking through here, uh, it's screwed down to a cabinet while sitting, sitting up on top of a shelf. And the cat likes to jump up there once in a while behind my fridge. And I don't want the cat knocking the TV down. So I actually screw it down to the top of the cabinet so that it can't move. Um, and it right at the right angle. That's what that uh, that's what this is for. So that I don't I don't have to worry about it getting knocked down and crashing down on someone's head. So we'll plug back in the main board and the three connectors for the lamps. And then this should be good for several more years before I have to deal with it again. To say the big killer for the uh, fluorescent backlights on these is turning them on and off. So make sure they're being seated. And uh, before I throw it together, I'll turn it on and make sure it's working. The moment of truth. I think that's the power button. There we go. Working. Looking like a million bucks. This is the standard definition panel. No HD here. But that's okay, because it's just displaying a standard definition RF modulated output from my security cameras. So, there you go. And one of these ViewSonics is doing oddball, or any of these, any of these old LCDs, just doing oddball things with the picture looking like crap like I showed you before I disconnected it. It's going to be a cap. It's bad. So, it lasted a long time. This is an original cap. The other two I changed when I got it, as I say, at least, at least 10 years ago. I think a little longer. Trying to remember when I pulled the the other one out of service, but I think it was the, the one that's sitting up here in the corner. That was there for I think maybe five years, so it might have been around 2011, 
2010, 2011, I pulled that one out of service, brought that one into, uh, maybe a little later, maybe 2012. I, f I forget exactly the date, but uh, it was somewhere in there. I brought that one in. I brought this one into the house, or brought this one out to the shop and took the other one in. But it's been a long time. Now I can throw this one back together and put it back in service and it should, get, should be good for several more years. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.